welcome to a new series that will teach you stuff, like really useful stuff, like how to turn this mess into this. That's so adorable, it's a simple process, but this doesn't end, this gig is so started, because you can turn this into this. Or if you are not good with the, I don't know, exactly figures and stuff like that with the mathematics, maybe you can try to be a <laughs> this is so exciting. And that doesn't end. It's the limits is your imagination. I even do this weird stuff. Yeah. And you see it, girl? You can do it. Okay, so you want to know how to do all these shenanigans? Just keep on watching. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, I made a unicorn face comp! Well, as you managed to see in the video, I managed to make this unicorn face cam so adorable and it wasn't so hard. But I will teach you how to do a circle face cam, it's going to be the basic one. So, the first thing you need to know is that I'm working in a Mac. If you are working in Windows, it's exactly the same shenanigans, you just change the layout. The other thing you need to know is that this uh, setup only works for your to streaming or if you don't mind that your uh, face cam is in the same file as you are recording your screen or your gaming. So, if you don't mind that you don't have over control over the two audio settings because my computer doesn't support it even if I do it from here in the OBS. Um, that means that you're ready to go because it's a little bit more practical. So, uh, before we started, uh, the only thing that you need to know before of my uh, OBS is that I set up uh, the dark theme before the default one because that's why my well, OBS is black. If you have a white one, it's not a big deal. I will leave the links of the description to download OBS. And uh, let's start it with the tutorial, shall we? The first thing you need to know is sources. Sources is really important because it's all the stuff that is showing and recording in your OBS. So, you click the plus that it will add more sources to your OBS screen recording. You need to, che you need to check this first, you do something else. So, the, you need to click video capture device and it will open this little window that is our friend. So, I already have a lot of existing face cams, you don't need to click on here, just create a new one. And you will create it, put your name you want, it doesn't matter, it's just for you to identify the face cam. So once you click it OK, it will open this little window. The device is not selected, so use the presets and it will tell you the normal size of your face cam. So that means is this, you see, the first size in the video, that the huge crop area rectangle, uh, that's not pretty, so we want to just use this size. Because once you uh, start creating the shape, you need to know this number, so it, the face cam is in the same size of your clipping it. So, you just need to select the face cam you are using, if you're uh, working in your computer, and you're ready to go. I will cancel it, because I want you to see all these process. Uh, okay, okay, now you need a program, or if you don't have a program, you can do it online. There is a lot of uh, online editing picture thingies that it will be really helpful for you. And the, f the thing you need to know is you need to export it in PNG. If you cannot export it in PNG, then it's not going to work. You can use Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm more I have vector girl, so I will use Illustrator for this tutorial. I hope you are continue seeing. This is my normal Illustrator, how it logs with my thumbnails and some work from the place I work. And now you click new, it will give a little bit while because I'm recording while doing Illustrator and that consumes a lot of RAM from the memory. But it doesn't matter, let's just wait until it opens and it will open this window that is a new document. The thing you need to know is you remember that name, you need to put it here so it's the size of our canvas. So that means the size of our canvas is the same size of the face cam. So in my case it's 100, well, 1280 by 7020. And now we need to put it in the horizontal position and you call create. When you create it, you will have this window and it's going to be really cute. So, this is the size of the cam. It looks bigger in white, right? But it doesn't matter. This is the tools you are used to know, but I will just do an ellipse. The thing with the ellipse is that you can do the same shape that you want and you can modify it. If you want to make a perfect circle, you just press shift at the same time that you are dragging it and it will create a perfect circle. I will do an, more than an ellipse so we can have more fun with it. I will just put it like that and I will make it larger in the top and here. This looks good for you. Perfect! So now we are need to change the colors. For the colors, these have these two little windows. We are going to select the bottom one first and we are going to click none. 
is the little white with the red stripe in it. That means they have no contour. Now we have this and the only thing you need to do is you can use this color that is one of my menus or you can double click in the big square and you have more control over the range. So you need to go into the green section and you need to choose one really bright green and this will have the result really easy, isn't it? Now, once you have this, you need to go to file and you need to place to export as. Yeah, enough time to see it. Now it's going to open this and it's going to call Ellipse. It's going to be awful. I will save it into my desktop so AC accessibility. And you need to choose PNG in the format of exporting. It doesn't matter all of these. You need, you want, you need PNG. So you click on export and it will open this little window. I always export these little things in the high set, but if you have problems with the memory, you can choose because it's not a big deal because the pixels is not going to be that much of a matter. But I will get it anyway in that. Uh, optimize it is okay. And the other important thing is that this one needs to be on transparent, no white or black, transparent. It's really important. You click it okay and you are ready to go once it finished. Now it finished, so I will meet you in your OBS. Okay, girl, we are back into OBS. So I will use this uh, video capture device too, and I'm going to start the tutorial. So uh, we are going to use this, and we are going to select our face cam, and it's going to be so big that you are not going to be able to see my OBS thingy. Now that you have this and you are selected, this one, you're going to right click on it and you are going to click onto filters. Now you see me by twice and duplicate, that's amazing and lovely. Uh, now, this is effect filters and this is audio filters. If you are using your face camera, you are in a really noisy environment, this could be a really good place for getting a noise gate or noise suppression. It's another gig that I'm not really into it, I just have a noise gate for my normal video so you don't hear anything around me. But that's not the tutorial for today. So in effect filters, you need to click in this plus sign and you are going to want to select image mask blend. And you can call it whatever you want, but I will not. So now that you have this thing, it's going to take you to this. This says type, patch, color and opacity. So color you leave it that way, opacity you leave it that way and the type you need to change it. Instead of this one, you need to change it to alpha mask but with the alpha channel. It's really important for you to remember. Now that you have this, you are going to click in browse. And it will open stuff soon. Now, I save it into my desktop, but it could be in any file that you saved your image. And this one is the one we made, but as you can see, I made a green unicorn, a green, the circle, the pentagon, the star, but we are going to do the ellipse. So we are going to do like this, and as you can see, we have an ellipse mask now for our face cam, but the only trouble is that we have these weird lines in the sides of it. I don't know why it is. I changed it in Photoshop with online uh, programs for changing stuff, and it doesn't work girl. I don't know, each time it does like this, but I only see this trouble into Mac. So if you're a Mac girl like me, you have a really quick solve. So, because this is a symmetrical image, you will not have any trouble. So you need to go again to the plus sign and then to crop pad, filter, you crop it, and it's going to give you these options. Uh, so you have left and right, so you just need to click it up until it crops the side into the left. Let's see how much it takes. Wait for me, girl, wait for me. Uh. Okay, now that is cropped from one side, you don't need to do all these shenanigans again. You just know, need to know this one. So it's from the left, you need to ch uh, copy this na uh, number into the other side. This only works for images that are squared base. So it's going to mean that it has the same distance to the left and to the right in the image file that we had. So, uh, now we move to right, we raise the zero and we put four, two, eight and that will reach of the other one. I will just clip it a little bit more because it has a little junky edge like that. Or 30, okay, that's that's it. Now you just close this and you will end up with this little thingy that is so adorable and it's going to add so much creativity to your videos. And as you can see, I have a lot of different face cams for this, but this is the basics. You can do whatever you want as long as you can make it a green solid object, that means the image is flat, it doesn't have shades, and it's gold green. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you, squirrel friends. 
this is going to be so a lovely journey. So if you enjoy, make sure you click the like button and subscribe down below and leave me your comments if you manage to do a different shape face cam and I would be gladly seeing that is going to be so amazing if I can, this can help so many other YouTubers to are already starting or if you already have your channel and you want to keep it a little bit of fresh air, this could be a really good option to it. Uh, well, and of course, I will leave all the links down below, so I will leave the Adobe package free that it's obviously cost, but there is a, a lot of other programs that are free and you can use it for doing this kind of image. Also, I will leave all the images that I made in a Dropbox link down below, so if you want anything of the shapes you saw in this video, you can have it, girl. Also, OBS is a really good program for recording, at least for Mac, works perfectly for me, so I will leave that on the link down below. So, thank you so much for watching, remember to follow the Green Trail, that means no hate, just love, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Ciao! I hope it was helpful for you. Oh, hello, square friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called stage viewing. Go ahead, I support.